Rising to a big challenge, a carbon-free future for flying. It won't happen overnight, but a firm commitment has now been made. The biggest players are all signed up, determined and optimistic that their ambitious goal can and will be realised. It's important to have a vision to sustain a strategy. And action has always to be for the immediate future, for the medium term, but also for the long term. And last year, for example, IATA was able to improve enormously in CO2 reduction. 395 new routes, 10 million of CO2 reductions. But the infrastructure is also a government problem. We need a single European sky. We need governments to be even more effective in handling the airspace. Our members, the manufacturers of aircraft, have every incentive to bring down our carbon footprint. It means the planes are not only greener, uh, they're more fuel efficient. And when it comes down to that, that saves money and enables us to do what we know we can for the economy as well as the environment. This industry has um, increased or improved its fuel efficiency by 70% over the last 40 years. Now I can't think of another industry sector that's got a track record in that way. There are lots of things that we can do now to make sure that we operate our aircraft, our, our, air, our, our airports, our air traffic management systems in, way which are, in ways which improve their environmental performance. And this is not you know, waiting 20 years. These are things which we can start to do now. We are responsible for airspace, so for us it's the role to optimize airspace, to let aircraft fly the shortest route possible. We need to work very closely with government to try and optimize our aircraft routings. The role of, of governments uh, is now crucial. What we have here today is the industry saying we can do our bit and we will. But in, in Europe uh, we now need the governments um, not only to commit but to be actively engaged in creating a single European sky. That is crucial. The status quo we have in Europe is unacceptable. It is not good for the environment to have airlines flying circuitous routings. I think where we can collaborate, uh, collaborate legitimately, um, it's important that we take the opportunity to do so. The environment is a key challenge to everybody. We need to demonstrate to our customers and to the world that the industry is working together to improve our performance. And I, I think this conference is an excellent example of that. We want to um, be able to meet the public's demand for growth without having an increase uh, environmental impact. We do not have all the answers today. But again, when the Wright brothers flew for the first time uh, one century ago, they were unable to imagine what could happen 50 years later with the first jet crossing the Atlantic. We are more or less in the same position today. We don't have all the answers, but we are confident because we are an innovative industry that we will find the right solution and in order to operate a carbon-free aircraft transporting people in 50 years from now.